Hello, my name is Jarno Suomisto. I'm a project manager in Helsinki 3D Plus team. Hi, my name is Enni Airaksinen and I am city model specialist for the city of Helsinki. Helsinki 3D Plus is a three-person team. We are working in mayor's office in ICT development team. Together we have over 60 year experience of working with 3D. So 3D for us is much more than virtual fun and visual wow. We focus on 3D tasks. First data collection for models, then model production, also with models open data services and advanced analyses and services. We also support internal 3D projects in cities other divisions. In big picture, we are combining data and virtual worlds to get benefits from several levels. First, in cities internal processes and services. Then, using city models as open innovation platforms. And also supporting city strategy in ecological, economical and social goals. So, with models we are building understanding to make high quality data based better decisions for common good and better life quality. Helsinki's goal is to be the most functional city in the world. One key factor to reach this is digitalization. So, Helsinki should also be the city in the world that makes the best use of digitalization. 3D city models and digital twins of the city are essential enables in this development. Helsinki has now two 3D city models as open data, reality mesh model and city GML city information model. These models have been open data for two and a half years. So we have digital twin twins of the whole 500 square kilometer city area. In this presentation, we focus on our recent work, Kalasatama Digital Twins Project. In this project, we studied cities digital twins from multiple perspectives. So we have horizontal approach from surveying to use cases, two digital twins and technologies, reality mesh and city GML semantic model. We also deliver digital twins as open data. We combine city models to smart city development. And we made advanced simulations with the twin models. And also we are looking for long-term long benefits by integrating twin models to cities internal services and processes. Three years in a row Gartner has listed digital twins as one of the top 10 technology trends. The use of digital twins in the city concept is a larger vision compared to, for example, industrial design. For instance, the smart city and digital twin concepts are interlinked on many levels, ranging from the Internet of Things to the interactivity between digital twins and the real world, from sensor systems to simulations and analyses of present and planned city, and maintenance and administration systems, also emergency planning and management, and the entire urban environment production chain, just to mention few. So the first goal of this Kalasatama Digital Twin project was to produce two high quality digital twin city models of one certain district called Kalasatama here in Helsinki. So we were creating two digital twins, 3D reality mesh model and city information model for the Kalasatama area. 
And next, I will go through these modeling processes. Here is a mesh modeling process. And the process can be divided into three different steps. Gathering the data, preparatory work, and the calculation of 3D model. Gathering data began with aerial photography. And the size of Kalasatama is approximately 12 square kilometers. And the mesh model has been produced over 2,000 nadir and oblique aerial images. Also, there must be done some preparatory work, like defining area boundary and its tiling. And also measuring the ground control points is really important for getting good accuracy for the mesh model. But after those two steps, producing a mesh model with 3D modeling software is then possible. And producing a mesh model with semi-automated 3D modeling software is cost-effective, as its production process is based on highly automated computing. So next, we have the production of city information model. At first, the project focused on the model creation processes and on modeling current and planned buildings in city information model. City information model of Kala Satama contains buildings in their present state and separately model uh, buildings under construction or planned. Also, current and planned bridges were modeled in the city information model. Also, we want processes to model uh, terrain, land use areas and water areas into city GML format. The main source data for modeling buildings are the laser point cloud, the building footprint from the base map, and unique information like attribute information gathered from our municipal building register. Both the, these data sets of digital twins are also shared as open data. As Helsinki city models, the Kalasatamas reality mesh model and the city information model are also shared as open data. For example, data is free to download to your own computer under license of Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International, which means that the data user must give appropriate credit to the data provider, like mentioned that the data is from the city of Helsinki, but that's only requirement for using the data. We share all the data from Kalasatama City GML database with all data of geometries, attributes and schema definitions and with this project we hope that this open data will reach a wide range of developers and data users and will spread the message of digital twins and 3d city models all over the world kalasatama area is the flagship of smart city development in helsinki the smart kalasatama project together with residents, businesses and other actors, explores new intelligent solutions based on smoothness of use, user orientation and inclusive city planning. Smart everyday services have been named as 25-7 theme as intelligent services aim to provide one additional daily hour of laser time to people. The virtual platform for Smart Kalasatama was built on the browser-based Open Cities Planner application. Reality mesh models are suitable as a base model for the application, as was done also in this case. 3D models of planned buildings have also been added to the application as well as terrain models. Points of interest were created in the Open City Planners to describe ongoing projects and project-related web page was linked behind the object. The project also tested how the Open City Planners can be used as a platform for interaction. 
One goal of this project was to try out new technologies for utilizing 3D city models. And in this project, two sun studies were carried out, solar hour analysis and shadow analysis. The aim of conducting these solar simulations was to try out new technologies to observe the sunlight in the built environment. And here are the results from these analyses. Next to the subject of wind simulations. So now you can see how we use this digital wind analysis software to assess the effect of the wind on the high-rise buildings in Kalasutama. So here we have the planned and current buildings in digital simulator. From this simulator application, the results are immediately displayed on the computer screen to illustrate the airflows in Kalasatama. We can, for example, calculate how the south wind behaves around the buildings, their roofs and in the yards, and what kind of wind is formed between the buildings on the street level. Actually, this uh, wind simulator was originally invented for German automotive industry. But nowadays, this digital simulator can also be utilized in the field of 3D city models. And someday, this could replace these costly wind tunnel analyses. Wind simulations are really necessary, and we try to show how these smart city models digital twins and digital simulators can be utilized to support cities' planning and design processes. So digital twins and digital twin models at their best realize this idea of testing, planning and building digitally first. The Helsinki digitalization program released on February this year presents digital twins as one of the program's key projects. The inclusion of the digital twin operating method is a major strategic policy affecting to the modernization of workflows. The definition of the method as an entity consisting first of data resources, secondly a service platform and thirdly competence to get the benefits helps people understand the complex challenge of the objective. Observed benefits of this project are versatile. Synergy is achieved by carrying out the project in Kawasatama, where many other experimental projects are also taking place. The benefits from open data will accumulate over a longer period. Game engine streaming brings new developer groups for the model data and creates new opportunities for its use. The user experience and the results from the wind analysis tool are very, very positive. There has already been great interest in the ongoing work from both Finnish and international operators. The linking of a city model with smart city urban development is quite new. Because there is a demand for it, the report is translated in the English and the report is free and downloadable from our website. The Kawasatama project team hopes that this report will promote the overall digital development of urban planning and maintenance, which will produce cumulative benefits starting now. Thank you for this opportunity to present our work. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.